filing federal charges in her case. And the 25-year-old is from Charlotte and attended Winston-Salem State University. She died last year while on vacation in Mexico. Eric Dellinger from our sister station, WJZY, explains why the U.S. Attorney's Office doesn't have enough to move forward. Shaquille Robinson's family walked into the FBI field office Wednesday, hopeful, but about an hour later walked out. It was the sixth day that they were not happy with what they heard. Federal authorities saying federal charges would not be filed in her death. It's a blow to a case that has gained national and international attention. Robinson, a young Charlotte woman on vacation in Cabo San Lucas, who reportedly was seen on video being assaulted by someone she knew before she died. Justice delayed can be justice denied. We all know that and have seen it time and time again. The family's lawyer, Sue Ann Robinson, spoke with the media after the meeting with federal officials. The U.S. Attorney's Office says they told the family that the evidence they had in the case did not support a federal prosecution. While it is a setback, it does essentially leave one big option open for now, for Mexico to order an extradition hearing. Robinson says that paperwork has been filed, but nothing has happened yet. Something she says is frustrating and something that she has seen more than she would like. When there are black and brown victims of crimes, there is a whole other set of things that have to be done than not. The family says they are trying to chart a new path in the case. The case, they say, is cut and dry, and they want to know why the justice is not. There has to be a high level of diplomatic intervention. Heads of state have to talk to heads of state and say, listen, this is what it is, this is what happened, it's on video, we can't have U.S. citizens do it, this cannot occur, how are we going to resolve this? More meetings are expected to take place in Washington, D.C., surrounding her case. On May 19th, the march will be held in her honor.